Hey Midwest 2019, my name's Omer, and I was asked to make a short video showing you guys what makes Kibbutz Urim Kibbutz Urim. I'm going to show you guys a little tour of all the different types of things that we have here. The shop, the cheder ochel, the cactus garden as you can see behind me. And um, just, you know, give you guys a little introductory tour as to what is Kibbutz Urim. We have a, like, cactus garden thing. Um, it's literally just like a trail, you can walk around, and there's just a bunch of cacti growing literally everywhere. We got an outdoor gym, and a basketball court, and there's a soccer field behind it, and then over there are tennis courts. Cool. I'm Fee, Amphitheater, Deshe Hagadol, The Big Fee. It's literally just called the big feet. This is the cheder ochel. Um, this is, you know, cafeteria. It's where you guys will uh, eat lunch most of the days after uh, after you get back from Ulpan. Food. It's Pesach, so there's a lot more people here. Quick! This is one of our bomb shelters. Mirpa, if you're feeling sick. Cow. Lots of cows. Did I mention that we had cows? We have our own bus station! And there are two buses that come here, the 35 and the 130. Downside is that sometimes you have to specify to the bus driver if you ever come back into the kibbutz that, hey, do you go into kibbutz Urim? Sometimes they just don't stop even if you press the button. Yes. Why is there nobody here? Uh, because everybody's on dates. Why? It's Wednesday. The Kinyonit, where we get all of our everything. If you're like me and you don't drink, they sell cola. The pub is basically where everybody goes on Friday nights. Um, to drink and have fun and stuff and it's great especially when you're in Periklita because that's you know the weekends are the only time when you're allowed to drink anyway. Something else that you'll find in Kibbutz Urim is a lot of the things that are kind of just left here behind make this place look like an abandoned amusement park. And through the flowery fields we have laundry. This building is where laundry gets folded. Um, there's always a volunteer thing that goes around uh, to do laundry, and then that building over there is where the actual washing gets done. How it works is you throw through this window. The gun, where the children play during the day, the gun. This is the modern. Fridge, sink, oven. It's kind of messy now, but it's usually messy. Salon. For you guys, it's going to look different because this video is coming out before all the renovations are being made. The bathrooms are. These are the rooms. You guys are going to be living in this neighborhood. There's one Zula, there's another Zula right here, which we cleaned up for Pesach, if you can see all the old couches back there. There's another Zula there, and that tiny Zula is where everybody usually hangs out. We also have a fire pit, which is really nice. This is my room. Stuff that we get. A bathroom. A closet. The closets are actually really big. Like, we get shelves and we have a lot. There's like actually a lot of space and you can make a whole lot of more space for yourself if you play with it, right? Um, window. Every room should come with a mazgan and there's also a kitchenette. But how the room ends up looking is more or less entirely up to you guys. This is what my roommate and I turned ours into. Um, and it's also nice to know people 
that way you'll get stuff. Right now, usually we're meant to have fridges. I don't have a fridge right now. But Let's hope that changes in the near future. Fiv and chickens and horses and chickens. So that's it. We're back in the cactus garden. I have showed you everything that I think makes Kibbutz Ulim what it is. Um, there's a lot here and everybody, if you want, will end up getting host families and it's really, really nice. Um, everybody looks out for each other here. Um, and yeah, we're all really, really excited for you guys to come. Um, and we're all really looking forward to meeting new people and, you know, answering any questions that you guys have about the army. It's going to be fun. And, uh, welcome to Israel. See the peacock? That bastard and all his little friends are going to keep you up for nights upon nights on end. <laughs>